What's up everyone, this is Super Super Malsa, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In the last episode, we dealt with some sick customers. <laughs> we got ourselves some free dinosaurs uh, for a mission, I guess, and we just had to make sure we that we um, simply cure this mystery disease that these new dinosaurs that we received had. Um, those dinosaurs being the Diplodocus and the, where is he, the Metricamphosaurus the over here. So yeah, I guess we now have some mysterious new dinosaurs. Let me have a look at the statistics quickly. Uh, let me see, it's acceptable, immune, blah blah. Uh, it doesn't necessarily say whether or not he's a hunter and he's fine hunting goats or if he wouldn't mind eating off the a meat eating any who knows who who knows i'm gonna keep him hunting goats for now actually you know what uh, i'm just gonna quickly because i can uh carnivore feeder uh, there we go now now i don't have to worry now he has two feeders there you go. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, you would think that now that we got these random out of nowhere dinosaurs, that we pretty much unlock these dinosaurs uh, now, right? We would uh, now be able to make Diplodocuses and Metricamphosauruses, right? Well, ah, uh, god damn it. Hold on. Give me a moment. Uh, open all the shoes. Okay, alright, evacuate the, 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 the park into the shelters, we got ourselves a storm. Uh, what are we dealing with? Her, for whatever reason there's a power outage somewhere. Because that place needs fixing. Um, yeah, alright. Uh, Ranger team. Uh, fi fix it. Fix it quickly. Right. Yeah. But anyways, as I was saying before, the, the storm interrupted me. Um, bloody... Yeah, we can't... We can't uh, get the DNA for the Diplodocus nor the Metric Ampersaurus, which sucks. Because that means that as soon as these dinosaurs are di have died, they're probably dead for good. We can't we can't get another one. Yeah, we can't get yeah. As you can see, yeah, we can't get any Diplodocus. We don't have any Diplodocus uh, fossil sites or anything. Just yeah. And uh, they seem to like the Velociraptor, I guess. Um. Yeah. Oh, that was a quick storm. Uh, just all right. I close all the shelters, I guess. Um, I wonder. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna check quickly because I gotta make sure that everything is safe. Yeah, this part of the park has no cover whatsoever. So I'll just quickly do that quickly. Uh, get ourselves a little. Storm defense, so that the next time a storm comes, uh, it won't be as devastating. Fit it somewhere. Come on. Come on. Come on, you cheeky fella. Don't fit it. Yeah. I guess I have to split, yeah. But yeah, but anyway, so if we like were to like look at the the, the research, the Metricampasaurus or what now. This opportunity is solid and can really help the entertainment division. So please consider it. Seeing as how the security doesn't like me, 
uh, and your reward's not that big. I just have to sell a Hua Yenga source. I'm, I'm gonna decline it. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah anyways, yeah, the Metric Camp source, it's, it's here somewhere. Like, if we find it quickly. Jack. Huh? Huh. Oh, uh, no. Here it is, Metric Camp source. Yeah. See? I can't get the Metric Camp source until I get the Isla de Cano section. Which sucks, but yeah, let's just hope that these dinosaurs survive a while. And as for the Diplodocus, that's a completely different dick site completely. I can't research the Diplodocus at all. You know, it's it's just, yeah, I guess you just get the Diplodocus in a completely different dick site. So, oh well. Yeah. But for now, we'll just have to see what happens. What I might do is, uh, at some point eventually when the Metricamphrosaurus eventually does die from old age, who knows when, um, we'll get a uh, trick hat, sell that, uh, and extract that. This is where, oh, we're, we're rolling, we're on three million dollars, alright, yeah, this is where we get our money. But anyways, so yeah, when the Metricamphrosaurus eventually dies from old age, uh, we'll probably fill this enclosure of a carnivore of some kind, like Dilophosaurus or Velociraptor or, or something like that. Who knows, yeah. But anyways... Yeah, well, so what are we gonna do? Well, we gotta get the Chunkingosaurus uh, genome to 60% and we'll get some free money. And then what we could do with that is we could probably make like a little Stegosaur enclosure for the... The... the what, was, what was it called? The... The Wuhurosaurus, no, the, what does it I had? The Huayangosaurus, the Huayangosaurus and the Chunkingosaurus in one enclosure. We'll just have a nice little Stegosaur enclosure. Also, um, we'll try and get the Velociraptors, the Ankylosaurus, all that stuff. What I really want to know what happened is, what happened to the main uh, entertainment quest that I was doing? I was in the middle of doing like a... a an entertainment mission. I don't know what happened there. Can I get back to that mission, please? It would be nice to return to it. Missions. There you go. Yeah, mission two. Start mission. You know what causes bad shows to close? The same thing that causes good ones to. No audience. We need guests in our parks, butts in the seats. Maybe that's why they call it the bottom line. Alright. So yeah, so all we need to do is just You're get in? cool. Uh, cool. Okay, we'll start at the beginning. New dinos. Do I have to Incubate listen to all this all over again? And house. You know the drill. Hey, everybody, we're putting on a show. It's gonna be a spectacle hundreds of millions of years in the making. Sorry you may not survive. Hmm. Eh. Uh, well anyways. So yeah, so from what I seem to know, all we need to do is to just is just to incubate and make these three dinosaurs. And now that we have three and a half million dollars, we can probably do that task much more easier now since, uh, than we could have before, right? Oh, and another thing. Um, so behind the scenes, unfortunately, our Triceratops Sarah has perished and is now dead. So I'm gonna. Fill up the enclosure with a few triceratops, so that um, yeah, because you know, no one just because Sarah is dead doesn't mean we can't have no triceratopses. This is the ceratopsian enclosure. We can't just have uh, cynoceratopses. We gotta add more ceratopsian. No, make some diversity. Get some triceratopses. That was quick. Oh, we'll try again. Uh, Triceratops incubate. Alright. Hopefully that, that does us some good. So anyways, uh, I'm g I have to check quickly. Um, in a enclosure that is free. Oh wait, no wait a minute. I can do this, can't I? Hold on. Incubation speed, success rate. No yeah, here we go. Hatchery capacity. Boom! Yeah, we got a third slot. Now, I'll get working on that in a moment. So let's have a look. Ankylosaurus, we can make an Ankylosaurus right now if we wanted to. That was 
quick. The Velociraptor is pretty close and the Dilophosaurus needs a lot of work. So we'll send a dig team to get some Dilophosaurus remains right now. Um, the Dilophosaurus, boom. There you go, that's the one we need. And as for the Ankylosaurus, we're gonna have to find out. Now this enclosure was originally supposed to be for the Ankylosaurus, but Mr. Met but Perry over here has suddenly decided to just come in unannounced. And uh, I guess this enclosure is now his. Oh, so, uh, sweet, so the Diplodocus does eat from this enclosure, sweet. Okay, I'll just send a, a ranger team to quickly refill that. Attending to feeder supply. Okay. Um. Let's see quickly. I got a, I got a new skin, didn't I? I swear, like I remember, like, hold on. Mission to cure. Uh, what, what did I do? Mission. Reward research team Bravo. What exactly is that? Research Team Bravo. What is Research Team Bravo? Is that a skin? Or... Hmm, who knows. Yeah. But anyways. Okay. So. We seem to be going on a smooth ride so far for now. Which is... Great. Um... I wonder, can we get more dig teams? Oh, the Triceratopses are complete. Well, we, we might as well just quickly uh, release the Triceratopses. Get this out of the way. Okay, all right. Second one. All right. Sweet. Fill up the enclosure. Get some nice diversity. There's Snowy over there. Nicely chomping on the grass. In front of all the people, that's good. I would like to have both of those people. There. But what is Research Team Bravo? Oh, I really would like to know. Anyways, well the fossils are back. We got some Dilophosaurus remains which are good. We'll extract both of those. Because we got a bunch of money and we don't need to be that much afraid to extract them. And uh... We'll, what are we gonna do next? Changingosaurus, Dilophosaurus... We'll send a dictate site uh, here because there's a Changingosaurus and Dilophosaurus bones uh, here. And we need uh, both of those dinosaurs so we'll send a, a dig team right over there. We gotta make sure we don't use up too much of our money. We just got over um, a million. Which is great. We don't want to waste it all immediately. That would suck. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, so. Now we gotta do some planning. So. What we could do is we could just go bloop this way. And we'll use this area right here. For the ankylosaurus and uh, the stegosaurus and all that. So yeah, this is gonna be our armored dinosaur section. So. And. Perhaps, like, over here is where we're going to put our carnivores. Yeah, we got a good plan. We got a good plan going on. Yeah. So, so, let's get working on it right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a storm defense station somewhere, if I can just fit it. Come on. There we go. Connect the paths. Oh, uh, whoops. Hold on. There you go. Alright, yeah, get that storm defense station going so that we have uh, more protection in this general area. And yeah, hey, we'll just, we'll just uh, connect the dots somehow. Hmm. What we also could do, hold on, if we look at research. And if we go to buildings. Heck. Well, that's a monorail. I thought that was the. Okay. I thought that was. I thought this. Hold on. Which building is it that has the. 
where's the viewing platform? No, I know there was somewhere. There was, here it is, the viewing platform. Oh Jesus, it cost two. I thought it costed one million dollars. All right. But yeah, this can be helpful. Gyrosphere station, drivable gyrosphere. Okay. All right, all right. All right we got some more fossils. Extract those right up. We 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 needed both of these dinosaurs. Oh no, that's a Hui Yanga source. Uh, we'll sell that, and we'll sell the Dilophosaurus. Wheat stuff, and then we'll send a dig team to get some Velociraptors. Yeah, why not? Go, go ahead. Get some Velociraptors. Oh, everyone loves a Velociraptor. And uh, yeah, let's not let's not wait around. Let's actually do it, right? Let's get moving. Right. Okay. Now we're in a new section. Where should we put? Probably like I don't know. Maybe what we could do is like, um... Just... When things go wrong, who do they turn to first? You guessed it. So consider this contract part of us always being ready. Successfully incubated dinosaur in the Hammond Creation Lab. The dirty secret of this place is that something that... Sometimes the stock goes missing, which means eaten. It doesn't hurt to prepare for the inevitable. The contract has the details. Do you just want me to incubate a dinosaur? That's it? Okay. Easy. I know these animals are considered product, but don't treat them that way. We'll, uh, we'll get um, some more hadrosaurs. Why, why, why not? Well, yeah, and it's Montosaurus. And in case that doesn't work out, we'll get another Karifasaurus. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There you go. And if both of them work, oh, great more diversity in this one enclosure oh it's better than here which only has this one metric canvas source there. the egg in the hammock has failed damn it all right uh it's montezaurus boom okay right so well let's get back to here right so we got to figure out a way to build an enclosure. Maybe if we could build like like a little egg-shaped enclosure right here might be good. So let's get working on it. Um would that work? Or maybe would I need like more space? I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Either it sucks or it's ain't half bad. Probably sucks. Now that's a dumb idea. No, I'm not gonna go with that. I'll do a different plan. Get some more fossils. Dinosaur eggs. Nice. Platinum. Nice. A Velociraptor fossil. We'll extract that. Wait, and now we should be able to make the Velociraptor. Ooh. Alright. Okay. Um, what can we do? You can't overestimate the, the size of the dinosaurs, um, but we can't also make sure it's not too small. Come on, there we go. Uh, there we go, yeah. This might do. I knew you were the right person for the job. Alright, well, okay, cool. Uh, the dinosaurs are done. I'll get work, working on that in just a moment. The Velociraptor is also done. I'll also get working on that enclosure in just a moment. Uh, if we can just... I mean, it's obstructed. Obstructed with what? This hill? There you go. 
Boom. Okay. The path's not connected, but no worries. Okay. Some water. Ooh, that looks off. And uh, finally, we'll get a herbivore feeder. Let's say, um, like here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. How much capacity has our park reached? Has it reached maximum capacity? Do we need like? Do we need to build some hotels? Anyways, there's a there's a feeder out of order. Uh, Rangers, go get a. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Resupply request acknowledged. Okay. Right. So now comes the a good question. Should we make the Dilophus? Should we make the Raptors first, or should we make the Ankylosaurus first? I feel like the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor is like a grand finale type of thing, you know? The Jurassic Park has made the Velociraptor this well-infamous, well-known dinosaur. Like, it's something that people should fear or something like that. So I feel like I should leave the Velociraptor for later. But right now we should be making, like, Ankylosaurus um, enclosures. This, this looks like an alright enclosure for an Ankylosaurus. It's not perfect, but... It's better than nothing. Oh. Yeah, I'm, j I'm learning. I'm learning. Still learning. Even after all this time in this game. Anyways, so we got these dinosaurs already. Let's release them quickly. Hello, Chili. How are you doing? Ooh. We'll release the Carifasaurus. Alright, Ducky, you are going to meet up with Bucky. Oh, whoops. Uh, Bucky, there we go. Bucky the Edmontosaurus. Yeah. And that's for you. Uh, Lumpy. <laughs> I'm not being creative. Yeah, we're gonna name this one Lumpy, sure. Why not? We've got a huge herd of hadrosaurs now. Nice. Ducky, Bucky, Max, Lumpy, Widow, and poor Sicko all the way over here. Aww. What seems to be the problem? Just that building? It's probably just that building. No worries. We'll fix it up. Uh, we'll get a power station. Yeah. And yeah, we'll make this little area a nice little section <laughs> full of junk. Alright. We'll connect up the paths. Uh, um, and as for as for the the gates, we'll make the the. Uh, where should we put the gates? We'll put the we'll put the gate like here or something. Yeah, here we'll do. I mean, we do have to remove some trees as well in the process, but that should be fine. Yeah, there we go. No problem at all. Oh wait, hold on, and uh. This tree as well. Yeah. Easy done. And we'll get a we'll get a um, a viewing gallery. Right here if we can. Come on. Fuck it with what? Come on. There we go. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll, we'll also hold on. Uh, we'll, we'll connect a a substation right here. And yet, all right. Do I have to like connect the paths to for them to have a look? Yeah, there we go. But for some reason, connecting paths makes everyone happy. And it's a odd, odd feature, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, so we got our enclosure. Let's have a look at the encastors. Can we modify the genes? That's the first important thing. Modify genome. Let's have a look. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, that's fine. We can modify its defense. Although the encastors already has a pretty high defense, so doing more is just. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, so we got the Velociraptor, we got the Ankarsaurus. We just need to work on uh, getting some Dilophosaurus. Um, let me just quickly send a expedition team to down here. Yep, sounds good. All right, and without further ado, let's see if we can get ourselves an Ankarsaurus. Here we go. And we'll give them a buddy as well, why not? Right. There we go. Oh, this slope looks really awkward. Like, super, super awkward. I don't like that. Hold on, I'm gonna fix that quickly. Uh, smooth? No, let's try flatten. Hmm. Well, anyways, so yeah, the Ankarsaurus, one of the most well-known of the Ankarsaurus. And from what I've seen um, in the re from what I've seen in the, the research uh, section, it seems that I'll have more than one species of Ankarsaurus. Use the Ranger Team's camera to capture a photo of a Ankarsaurus and a Ceratosaurus together. Ah, uh, how about no? <laughs> I'm I was just I'm just getting the Ankarsauruses. I'm not gonna immediately put them in a death round automatically. No, screw that. <laughs> Remove that. Yeah. Um, done enough. Good. Uh, I'll, I'll just leave it for now. Um. What we might do quickly is we'll we'll get some we'll put down all of the um, the upgrades in here, make it better. There you go. We got a dead dinosaur. Who's dead? Ah, Max. Ah. All right. No worries. Hold on. We'll just get a transport team. Yeah, I figured out how to remove the bodies. We'll just uh, get the helicopter and just fly the fly them away. No worries, we'll get ourselves another Crefasaurus. We'll get ourselves another Max. All right, the fossil team's back, and uh, we got the Chunkingosaurus, but no Dilophosaurus, unfortunately. No worries, we'll we'll try again. We'll send another dig team down there and we'll see what happens yeah anyways how much more longer until that uh in Kyle source is done i would like to get that in Kyle source yeah. Asset being transported. No. so empty i hope the in source doesn't mind uh they're being very grasslandish. No? Yeah, it's it's an interesting take how the dinosaurs in this game uh, have like this feature where they 
like um they like certain environments like they don't like some dinosaurs want more trees than others yeah okay here we go they're both done awesome all right let's release them hey big guy how you doing No rival roar or anything, just Yeah, I'm an Ankylosaurus. Buffy. His face looks very frog like. Kinda bugs me a little bit. Release his friend as well. I already saw this intro. I'm gonna watch it again. Ooh, so let's have a look at the Ankylosaurus model. Nice. Yeah, now we got the Ankylosaurus, now we have to work on getting the Velociraptor and the Dilophosaurus. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, he's comfy, he's comfy. Maybe we'll get like a little bit more trees. That's what we'll do. Get more trees around. Oh, he's an energetic one. I think I'll call this guy Angiris. He reminds me of Angiris. Uh, the Ankylosaurus monster from Godzilla all right all right we got a name for this guy Angurus the Ankylosaur all right the fossil team's back uh we'll chunky cosaurus sell it cynodont cool interesting so we'll have to sell it the osmium sell that as well and Dilophosaurus will extract that all right awesome as for you, you're like a slow, sleepy guy. You know? You're not as energetic as the other dude. Kinda like my dogs. One's energetic, and one's always sleeping, and uh, is not as energetic, you know? Ch uh, Chiquita. This Ankylosaurus would be called Chiquita. There you go. And Gears and Chiquita. Well, he's running around now, but. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I do like the this Ankylosaurus model. Big and uh, yeah, they look tough. Like they look really, really tough. I do hope at some point in the line we get more skins, because I do hope that we'll get more uh, skin genetics. And we'll have like a really colorful, pretty looking Ankylosaurus or something, you know? Like, I really like the, the, the cosmetic side of this game. Just getting different colored genes to make uh, different looks and all that. How much have we recorded? Let's have a look. Uh, 33 minutes. Yeah, we should stop it here. Ooh, well, anyways. Yeah, so we got the Ankylosaurus. A very cool and tough dinosaur. I know a lot of my friends and even my brother really loves um, Ankylosauruses because they're just so tough. You know, they're the type. Next to the Triceratops, they're one of the few herbivores that will stare right back to the eyes of a T Rex and go, Go ahead, attack me. I dare you. Yeah. They're cool. I, I like them. So, if you liked this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'm Super Super Marcel. Make sure you have a super super time. Bye bye!